Lesson 10.8, Transformers Electrical Safety Part 2. This is the safety portion. On electrical cord, the ones with the three prongs actually have two grounds. Now, grounds means it's the same volts as the ground. In fact, the wires are directly connected to the ground. There's a big outside your house, a big metal um, rod that's hammered into the ground and the ground wire is connected to that. So those are safe and won't hurt you. It is the white wire. And the white wire goes to the wide prong of the cord. You know, so uh, your plugs has a, a wide prong and a narrow prong. The wide prong is the ground and it'd be a white wire. And returns the electricity back to the power company through the ground because the ground is fairly conductive. There's a ton of electrons there. The green wire, which goes to the third prong, that one that's round at the bottom, this one right there, that grounds the case. So anything with a metal case should have this third prong. So like a toaster that has a metal case. I have tools like a saw it has a metal casing. It has this green wire. And so all it is is a wire that connects directly to the metal case and then plugs into that that uh, third hole there, the round hole, the plug, and it goes directly to the ground. It's not even connected to anything else in the circuits, but it's just in case something happens inside the appliance and the case is getting electrified that'll ground it so that it won't shock you. The hot wire, the one with the high voltage on it, so the grounds have zero volts, the hot wire has the 110 volts. That one is the black or red. Uh, you think of red, it'll be dead, black, you've, well, you're fried, it'll you know, burn you, or whatever, but the black or the red is the dangerous one carries a voltage. A circuit breaker is, an, is another safety device. If the current load gets too large, there's a little electromagnet that pulls a switch open and it stops the current. And what it does is it stops the wires from getting hot and short circuits. If there's a lot of current, um, there's a little bit of resistance in the wires and it can actually produce enough heat to melt stuff and start fires. Another one is a ground fault interrupter. Uh, these are required to be in places that are uh, have water nearby, so your kitchen and bathroom should have these. Uh, both sides the hot and neutral, are wrapped around this ring right here in the middle. See this ring? And both sides are wrapped around it. But the number of loops are equal. They're in opposite direction, and the number of loops are equal. Therefore, they both create a magnetic field in this little loop of metal. Um, and usually, if all the current goes through like a full circuit, like it ought to, current going into the appliance equals the current leaving it, then they'll have the same amount of magnetic field, the opposite direction in that little loop, that uh, circle, that metal circle there, and it'll cancel out. However, if there is an imbalance, like a person stuck their fork in the toaster and are being electrocuted, some of the current is going through them. And that would mean that there's an unbalanced uh, magnetic field in that loop, and it's continually changing because it's alternating current, which means the sensor up here reads a current, an induced current that flips a switch and shuts off the electricity. And so then you're not being electrocuted anymore because you were foolish enough to stick a metal fork into a toaster. 
Have a good day.